morning students in the last class we have learned up to the division of the phylum cylindrata and the first class comes come under the phylum cylindrata is hydrosova so we are going to see what are the properties of hydrosova and uh, going to learn about a an example of hydrosova first point is habit and habitat habit and habitat habit what about its habit it is solitary solitary means it is a uh, it's single it always remains in single and uh, certain forms are colonial also colonial means they are seen in groups uh, then about its habitat some are fresh water uh, while some others are marine marine means uh, they live in salt water and some are sessile sessile means they are uh, they live by firmly attached to some substrate uh, firmly attached with some substrate substrate means ethengil or surface uh, but at the same time some are free swimming this is about the habitat and habitat some forms are solitary some forms are colonial uh, some forms are fresh water some are marine sessile forms also are there and free swimming forms are there and the first point regarding uh, is it found uh, single or as group the next thing about uh, is it present in um, salt water or fresh water third one is about um, whether it is uh, free um, move, what about its uh, existence is it uh, really moving or seen attached with uh, some substrate it's about habit and habitat then coming to symmetry cylindrates um, we in the in the general uh, last class about its general features we have learned that uh, it has radial symmetry symmetry but here you see that the symmetry is tetramerous or polymerous radial symmetry tetramerous symmetry means what no. uh, in tetramerous symmetry we can cut the body of that organism into four equal parts through the central axis not more than four only four equal parts we can cut by passing through the central axis <laughs> then what is what is polymerous radial symmetry polymerous means more than four we we could get equal halves by cutting through more than four plane such type of symmetry is polymerous radial symmetry so in this uh, class organisms show both these type of symmetry then about its body wall outer layer is called its um, name is ectoderm inner layer is called endoderm and in between ectoderm and endoderm there is a jelly like substance called mesoglia <laughs> this is the um, photo of one anidaria uh, this is um, somewhat uh, okay um, about this we will learn later in the same sections next point polymorphism this class exhibit polymorphism then what is polymorphism morphism means something relating with the shape poly means more than what that means we need to understand because in zoology and most of the science fields we can understand what it exactly means um simply from the from that name itself we need to um, we need to scan through that name that term then uh, we will certainly get an idea about what it tells about so here uh, here is also polymorphism more than one form uh, in this class in this organism different type of organisms different type means organisms having different body structure are assembled together 
to give a colony. Such type of phenomena, such type of property is called polymorphism. Poly, what is polymorphism? Ah, it is a property shown by colonial forms in which different morphological form exists together uh, to form a colony. In hydrosova, that different forms, uh, these are the two different forms that present in the single colony. This is the polyp form and medusa form. Next. Alternation of generation also present in this class. Alternation of generation is very clear for you. Don't need to repeat that. Then it's cleavage. Cleavage means it's a, uh, this is a um, breaking, a division, a cell division process that happens in the <laughs> beginning of, um, uh, beginning means uh, after this formation of cycle. Uh, here in this picture, you can see that. Holoblastic cleavage. Here it is telling that its cleavage is holoblastic. What is the peculiarity of holoblastic cleavage? As a single cell is forming first and it is entirely cleaving whole. Uh, that is holoblastic. Then um, again dividing, again dividing and uh, repeatedly uh, divide as a result. So many cells are forming here. Uh, the, uh, similarly, another type of cleavage is there. We need to understand it and to see what the difference of this cleavage from holoblastic cleavage. <laughs> this is meroblastic cleavage. Meroblastic uh, cleavage is very clear, uh, clear that uh, here only surface area of that single cell undergoing uh, cleavage or division. The other part remain intact. Such type is called meroblastic. Holoblastic means entirely that single cell starts to debate. So in hydrosova, the cleavage is holoblastic. <laughs> and an embryo um, is present, it's called a larval stage is present, present, it is called a ciliated planula larva. Its picture is given here. Then its body have an outer layer, a horny covering. Its name is perisarch. A perisarch is there. This perisarch is actually secreted by ectoderm. Ectoderm means outer body wall. Examples of this class are hydra, obelia, physalia, etc. Today we are going to learn about obelia. This is obelia. First point is about its habitat. Habit. Uh, it is a marine colonial hydrosova. It is, real, it is seen in marine condition, marine habitat. Uh, it is a colonial form and it is a hydrosova, obelia. In obelia, we are, I already told you that uh, polymorphism exists in hydrosova. So, in obelia, two types of organisms are Coexisting in a single colony. That two types of organism are called polyp and medusa. This polyp is a sedentary, it will not move. It attached to surface of seaweeds and also this polyp phase is the asexual phase. When this colony uh, or obedia is in polyp form, that form represent its asexual phase because uh, we already know that in its life cycle both the sexual and asexual phase is present so asexual phase is shown by which form polyp form this is the polyp form uh, and it is sedentary uh, it is not uh, free freely moving it is sedentary sedentary means attached to something and it is the asexual phase also. Then another form is there, medusa. Medusa is the free swimming form. It is solitary. I mean seen at a single. And also this one, this form is the sexual phase. This image is not shown here. <laughs> I will show you later. 
then metagenesis metagenesis is shown by this obelia metagenesis is another term for alternation of generation alternation of generation you all know what is what is it alternation of generation uh, it is the you know, phenomenon in which a uh, life cycle uh, how both sexual phase and asexual phase so that property also shown by this class then we need to understand more about polyp phase look this picture it is a colonial polyp is a colonial uh, just li like a colony means more than one forms are present it's a branched filament like a structure attached to a solid substrate and it is polymorphic polymorphic means different uh, morphological forms are seen together and regarding its body its cylindrical body is attached to hydrocalus by its proximal <laughs> end hydrocalus this is the bottom um, well, if we are thinking about a plant what about its root part what what we can call ah, that root part exactly similar to that root part that basal portion is called a hydrocalus <laughs> then this obelia colony we already know that um, that horizontal portion horizontal portion means uh, this portion this portion is actually acts as a anchoring anchoring it uh, anchor this obelia colony to some substrate and its name is hydrorhiza so what is hydrorhiza the horizontal portion that anchor the hydrocalus it is called hydrorhiza i think it's very clear i'm telling very slowly then what is hydrorhiza it's a horizontal portion that anchoring the hydrocalus or the that vertical portion of that colony <laughs> this is hydrorhiza and this is hydrocalus then we need to understand more about this hydrocalus this hydrocalus actually carry the two different types of sewers in different types of sewers means we are going to see which are the different morphological forms that seen together <laughs> one is gastrozoids this one is the gastrozoid this one and another one is the blastocystis these are the two types of polymorphic morphological two morphological form that seen in the obelia colony <laughs> that gastrozoid what is its significant it is nutritive in function means uh, this this sewer actually give nourishment food for this colony at the same time blastocyte what is its function it is reproductive in function helps in the reproduction of the colony and certain club shaped structures also present now what is this club shaped structures they are primordial or the early development developmental stage <laughs> that can be developed into a gastrozoid or a, or a blasto style that is this small club shaped structure it can it can form in uh, later in its uh, lifetime into a gastrozoid or a blasto style okay next step. next point cenosarc uh, what is cenosarc look in this picture in this picture you can see a 
continuous tube is passing through the end of the colony. That tube, hollow tube, is called the zero sac. Um, then the zero sac, how it is formed? It is formed of two cellular layers, outer ectoderm and the inner endoderm, and in between these two layers present mesophilia. Then next point, what about cylindron? Cylindron means the tubular cavity or um, we already know that cylindron is otherwise called the gastrovascular cavity. So inside the sinosarc, this is the sinosarc, uh, there is a um, tubular cavity. Tubular means it's just like a tube, a cavity. And, and that cavity is present inside the seno sac. And that um, cavity is continuous throughout the tube and is filled with the fluid and give um, and um, supply nourishment to almost all part of that colony. <laughs> then another term, <clears throat> what is perisarc? Uh, perisarc means it is, it is another covering, covering of this seno sac. This one. This is perisarc, the covering of sinusarc. It is transparent um, and uh, no, it is a non cellular layer secreted by ectoderm of sinusarc. Sinusarc consists of two, cell lay, uh, two layers, uh, ectoderm and endoderm, and that ectoderm secretes this perisarc, an outer covering outside to the sinusarc. Nidocytes are present in hydrosova that nidocyte that is present in the ovaria they contain nematocyst. Nematocyst also we already learned in the last class. This is type of uh, nidocyte. Then annulae are present. Annulae are certain ring like constrictions uh, of the perisarc. Next, we are going to learn more about this uh, zooids. Uh, zooid means two types of zooids. One is gastrozooids. So, sorry, this one is gastrozooid. Gastrozooid and uh, this one is blastostyle. And this gastrozooid is otherwise called a hydranth. And also uh, one more uh, name is there. One more, uh, not one more, uh, two more names are there. Trophozooids. Or other ways called a nutritive soil because it is giving uh, nourishment to the entire colony. So we are going to learn more about this gastrozoid. This one, this soil. One is also gastrozoid. This one gastro and this one also gastrozoid. Only one blasto style is present in this uh, ovaria colony in this picture. So now we are going to learn about gastrozoid, other ways called hydrant. Significance it is uh, giving nourishment like, uh, food uh, in for entire colony. Next, uh, its structure. It possesses a short tube like body. Look in this picture. In this portion, it has a short tube like body that dark red colored region you need to notice. This is the short tube like body. That short tube like body have a conical projection at its free end. That conical projection is known as hypostome. Hypostome is otherwise called manubrium. At the tip of this hypostome present an opening that opening is the mouth of this sword here an opening is present this is the mouth and around that mouth present so many tentacles next now another term hydrotheca hydrotheca means a envelope it is somewhat transparent, transparent envelope that cover this zooid, this gastro zooid. That envelope is called hydrotheca. 
and this uh, envelope or hydrotheca uh, have a circular shelf shelf means uh, it is an um, empty space um, for uh, carrying something it, uh, it carries some space for holding something such 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 type um, commodities we, we usually call as shelf <laughs> so here is a circular shelf and inside that circular sh shelf located that uh, short tube like body uh, for that sword uh, that sword rest inside that circular shelf and um, in the center of that shelf present and uh, present an opening through that opening the body of this uh, sword become continuous with the entire colony okay that's about gastrosoids structure next we are going to learn about blastostyle this is the blastostyle or the reproductive sword and uh, its structure I mean uh, consists of a long cylindrical body with without mouth and tentacles there is no tentacles or mouth for this soil and its cylindron means gastrovascular cavity also greatly reduced at the uh, same time a envelope covering is there yeah, its name is gonotheca gonotheca uh, and uh, in its body so many buds we can see that buds are called the medusa buds uh, when it become mature, this buds rupture this wall means that gonotheca and release to outside. That mature buds are uh, uh, called medusa. Next four. So in the beginning we uh, came to know that it is a polymorphic colony consists of two uh, soil forms. One is polyp forms. Till now we learned about this polyp form. And next we are going to learn about the next poly, um, uh, next morphological form that present in that uh, colony that is Medusa. Then that Medusa originated from where? Uh, originated in the form of buds from the blastostyle. And when it get mature, it rupture the its wall, gonotheca, and uh, release to outside. Then we can see what is going to happen next. We are going to see the medusoid phase. Its origin, it is originated from the blastostyle. Clear. What about its appearance? An umbrella-like structure with uh, a convex surface that convex surface is called the x umbrella surface and a concave concave surface is there it's called a sub umbrella surface and in the center present a manubrium manubrium means a, an extended arm like structure manubrium um, and its tip uh, manubrium, yeah, yeah, I think you are familiar because uh, in the uh, previous style regarding the uh, which word, gastros word, I have shown that picture and, uh, and it's very clear for you. So, manubrium is present in this medusoid form and uh, and it's, it's a tip present mouth. And next, uh, another term, velum. Velum, what is velum? Velum means Yes, it is a circular shelf that present uh, in, the, um, in the margin of that umbrella. Circular shelf means shelf, circular shaped groove. Uh, you just uh, think about the washer of the pressure cooker. What is for? Just like that way. A circular shaped shelf, shelf means thinner side have a groove, is present. 
that circular shelf um, that seen in the brim of that medusa is called vela uh, it can it will ask for one more question for your university examination and that uh, and the junction of x umbrella surface with the velum emerge so many tentacles clear from where the junction junction means that meeting point of x umbrella x umbrella is this area ah uh, the x umbrella with the velum emerge so many tentacles then lithosis 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 means what uh, alternatively in at the base of the tentacles alternatively means uh, uh, it's not in a regular pattern instead um, at the base of this tentacle person this uh, lithosis but at the base of this one uh, that lithosis is absent again in at the base of this tentacle person that lithosis that's what alternatively only this lithosis lithosis is actually a sense organ this sense organ uh, actually regulate and coordinate the movement of this medusa and its structure is somewhat like a sac like structure uh, it is uh, present in the base of the tentacle sac like structure with a, um, um, what a calcareous material and some sensory cell so this is the structure of the um, lithosis uh, next uh, another term cylindron cylindron uh, means the cat cavity that continues with the mouth uh, i already told you that mouth is present here and that mouth opens to this space this space is called a manubrium and that manubrium opens to where uh, this is the manubrium is uh, another um, um another view this what other uh, this picture looks like in this way uh, so here yeah, this is the tip of the manubrium so, uh, no, this is the mouth and this is this portion is the manubrium and the manubrium then connects with the four radial canal and these four radial canal unite together and form a ring canal what is the purpose of this canal uh, purpose means uh, the food that uh, taken up by the medusa uh, get digested and distributed through this radial canal uh, then to the circular canal that way it can distribute the nutrients uh, to the entire structure of that medusa next it's reproduction medusa then uh, till now we have learned about hydrosova its general features then hydrosova example obelia obelia we have learned that uh, it uh, show polymorphism polymorphism means two morphological forms are present that one morphological form is called polyp and another one is called medusa then we take the case of uh, polyp polyp form that is the um, that uh, filament branched filament like structure uh, yeah, in that structure we have learned, understand that it contain two types of zooids that two types of zooids are called gastrozooids and blastostyle that gastrozooid is the nutritive zooid and blastostyle is the um, reproductive zooid and from that reproductive Terry zooid, uh, which is forming medusa. Medusa uh, is forming from the medusa buds, and uh, it rupture the wall of that blastostyle and release to outside, and that form the next uh, um, the next morphological form of that colony that is medusa medusoid form. And um, that medusoid form um, is the uh, sexual phase also polyform poly phase is the polyform is the asexual form phase and that medusal uh, phase is the sexual phase 
so in that way we um, understand clearly about um, uh, hydrosova and um, its um, um, property alternation of generation sexual and asexual phase then we need to know next we are going to see uh, learn about the reproduction of phobelia um, polyp and medusa these are the two more phological forms polyp is cylindrical with tentacles at the top medusa means umbrella shaped structure with tentacles hanging down this is the polyp form and uh, from this polyp form um, from medusa buds uh, forming and when it mature it comes out okay mm, then that polyp represents the asexual phase and medusa represents the uh, uh, sexual phase mm, this is the young polyp uh, then it um, grow and form some buddy and first uh, develops gastrozoid because uh, nourishment is a, is a significant thing for the growth of this colony so first is what develops is uh, gastrozoids uh, it's, uh, then um, um, uh, develops other other zoids like uh, blastostyle blastostyle is not shown uh, here ah Ah, uh, the here, here, the blastocell, and in his body we can see medusoid buds. From that medu um, blastocell, that medusoid buds, when get mature, breaks that gonadium, comes out. These structures, these forms is, are called medusoid forms. These medusoid forms. Carry that uh, gonads, sex cells. Sex cells means sperm or egg. In its gonads, that gonads is located uh, mainly at the base of the radial canal. Base of the radial canal. In that way, how many um, gonads are present? Uh, there are four gonads are present. And it is uh, where it is located. Uh, it has seen associated with the radial canal. Uh, then what is happening there? Ah, uh, from that gonads, sex cells. Sex cells means um, if from if it is a male medusa, sperm is forming from that gonad. If it is a female medusa, uh, what is forming? Uh, egg is forming. Egg is uh, forming and later it is releasing to the outside how it is releasing to outside uh, here in the center we know there is a manubrium uh, manubrium and then opens out by mouth through that opening the sperm comes out from this male medusa similarly in this from this female medusa through the opening of the of its manubrium what comes out egg comes out a sperm and egg fuse together fertilization happen and zygote is formed uh, zygote then become um, cleavage undergoes holoplastic cleavage to form two cell stage four cell stage and then a, a multi um, cell stage called blastula later it develop into a larva free swimming ciliated larva called a planula larva then the after so many time of free swimming life the planula get attached to some substrate settle down and attached with them with some substrate and then start to uh, become the young polyp in polyp then first uh, some small buds are start to develop from its body and that bud uh, may be sometimes gastrosoids sometimes means becomes blasto style and become a colony that colony again once more so i will explain that reproduction once more by showing the end of picture very very important question this is the first uh, polyp phase that polyp phase contain two types of zooids 
they are gastrosoles and blastostyle from the blastostyle mature medusa cell comes out by breaking the gonangium wall of blastostyle in mature medusa uh, in the case of male medusa sperms are present or produced inside the gonads that is seen close associated with its radial canal and also in the case of female medusa egg are present and then that sperm and egg are released to outside through mouth of the male and female medusa its a union happen fertilization happen and zygote form that zygote undergoes cleavage and uh, uh, passes through two cell stage four cell stage blastula stage then a larval form stage after that it is settled down in some solid substrate uh, and uh, start to become young polyp again a sexual phase starting okay this this much area is a sexual phase then again going to start the asexual phase uh, then it uh, increases in size buds are forming gastrosoles are forming and so many new 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 branches are forming and uh, each branch ends up in some zooids again become that uh, asexual phase called polyp phase and that from asexual phase again what is uh, starting that sexual phase this is about the life cycle or reproduction of um, ovaria then we need to understand um, more things about the planular larva planular larva is a free swimming larva it is a elongated ovoid appearance anterior end uh, is broader than posterior end and it consists of two layers ectoderm and endoderm mouth is absent um okay it is a free swimming free swimming form so the points about the planula larva uh, because uh, uh, such questions can also come for the examination to write about the planula larva for two mark question or one mark question hmm. then another term you need to um, understand or keep in our memory every time is metagenesis metagenesis another term for alternation of generation or what is alternation of generation Ah, uh, it is the um, uh, existence of sexual and asexual phase in the life cycle of the organisms. And in the case of Oberia, a sexual phase is polyp phase, and a sexual phase is a metazoid phase. With this, we finish today's class. Thank you.